Hello, it's May 22nd, 2014, episode number 20 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap-Up Review. How are you doing? Today, I am drinking an Irish stout. This one comes from Mommy Bay Brewing Company here in Toledo, Ohio. First thing I wanna talk about, I got some new t-shirts in. This is a tri-blend American Apparel shirt printed locally by Juke Mode here in Toledo. It's got the cream on brown. Cream on brown sounds mighty dirty, and that's how I like it. Those t-shirts, they're available at the link below on my website. I got this book in the mail. It is called Handmade Furniture. See that? I didn't order this book. It just came in the mail without a note or anything. This is by Linden Publishing, written by Raphael Nathan. I'm very impressed with this book. I haven't read anything. I've just kind of flipped through and look at the pictures. Isn't that what we all do? But the layout is phenomenal. Um, and really interesting pieces. Uh, yeah, I just, I just love what's in this book. Um, it's got a good feel to it. It's a good size. The thing with woodworking books though, I always think they should be spiral bound, right? So they lay on your workbench flat. So when you got when you got these books, and I'm like, I'm on page nine, it won't stay open, and I gotta I gotta crease it. I gotta clamp it down to my table just so I can read the book. I recommend it. I like the projects in this book. This is called Handmade Furniture. 21 classic woodworking projects to build for your home. Very good. Are many of you involved in a two by four contest? put on by Summer's Woodworking. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts. There's a lot of trash talk going on. Unfortunately, I'm not able to participate in the contest because I got a ton of things going on right now, just swamped. I've really been enjoying everybody else's videos and the trash talk between everybody. It's good, lighthearted fun. If you're not familiar with the Summer's Woodworking 2x4 contest, check out the link below. Let's dive into some videos this week. This first one, Pocket Hole Step Stool. This is by Jay Bates. Jay keeps producing good content. One of the great things about this video is you get to watch Jay eat a banana. There's something strangely weird about watching somebody eat a banana. I also like the t-shirt he's wearing in this. Good things come to those who work their asses off. That is so absolutely true. Don't expect anything to be handed to you. Great little easy project, nice little step stool from Jay. Jay, love what you're doing. Walnuts and Birch Bowl by Frank Howarth. Once again, Frank amazes us all with his videos. This is a really, really good, beautiful bowl. What I like about Frank is he's just a really creative dude. In this video, you get to see him sketch out the design with a pencil and paper. And I think too many people skip that pencil paper process. It's all a little segment that he cuts up and glues together and adds it on the rim of this bowl and turns it, it's beautiful. He's got a great creative mind, Frank Howarth. Love what you're doing, so check that out. By Woodwork Web, how to build a solar lantern. I think this is just a cool little little project here. It looks great, looks fun. It's lined with rice paper, it's beautiful. So check out Woodwork Web. Lots of great videos by that guy. He, he makes a lot of good content. How to build a solar lantern by Woodwork Web. How to make a clock by I Like to Make Stuff. As you know, I have a man crush on Bob from I Like to Make Stuff because his videos and his creativity fantastic. This is a quick little project. It's, he's making a clock. You can do whatever you want with this. You can totally get crazy with a project like this. He's using his new CNC router to route out the numbers and just using some, some wood that's laying around and makes this funky shape. Looks good. I love what Bob is doing. So check out how to make a clock with I like to make stuff. Good job, Bob. Good job. 16 year old Eric Lindbergh put out a video called how to build a garden bench. This bench was originally designed and posted by Steve Ramsey of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. And Eric is building that bench and he's sharing it with you. What I really like about this is the music that Eric is using in the background is a ripoff of a 1990s gangster rap song by the Ghetto Boys called Damn It Feels Good To Be A Gangster." Listen to Eric's music. Now listen to Damn It Feels Good To Be A Gangsta by The Ghetto Boys. Damn it feels good to be a gangster Feeding the poor and helping out with their bills Although I was born in Jamaica Now I'm in the US making deals 
Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I mean, one that you don't really know. Riding around town in a drop top pen, sitting switches in my black 6-4. Shit, yeah, I love that. Ah, oh, Eric, you're so gangster. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I want that on a t shirt. Somebody put that on a t shirt and send it to me. Tim Sway. Reclaimed wood and brushed steel coffee table. I like Tim. He's a great artist. He's got a good artist mind. He's making a coffee table with reclaimed chestnut from a torn down cottage. Tim is really big on using reclaimed materials for his projects. He's got a great visual mind. He's not only making the top out of wood, but he makes and welds the metal legs, which is something I would love to get into someday. So I am jealous of those of you that can work with wood and metal. At the end, you see him playing the guitar that's been playing throughout the entire song. So good stuff. I came across this one and I naturally had to share it with you. How to make a mobile beer cart. If you have a video about woodworking and beer, I'm gonna post it on the show. I like this video for all the obvious reasons. It's a beer cart, it holds beer, and it's made out of wood. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. That's our videos for the week. So last week, I asked you, what is your dream build? What do you want to build before you die? I got a ton of answers. Oh, and they were great ones too. The most common answer was a house or a cabin. That's pretty awesome. How cool would that be to build your own house or cabin? Some other common answers, a chair or a rocker, a guitar, furniture to pass down to your kids and your kids' kids, an urn or a casket to build their own workshop. That sounds pretty badass right there. Another common one was a canoe, kayak, or boat. Also very cool. Some of my favorite answers was passing the woodworking skill down to your kids or sharing woodworking with your kids. You're creating a lifetime of memories when you're working with your kids, so I really like that. Father Thomas said a church. That's a pretty cool answer as well. And April said a treehouse. So that's pretty cool. I, I got some great answers. My favorite answer that I got comes from Julian Fields. And Julian wrote, I had a dream that I spent years and years just blindly building these beautiful ornate doors. They were all different sizes and none of them fit in my house, so they just stacked up in the garage. Then my dream brain threw in a plot twist where I inherited this awesome Victorian era house with tons of character but no doors. One by one, I had started bringing in the doors I had been building all my life to complete the house. This dream has inspired me to build at least one door someday. That's a crazy dream. I really, really love that. He had a dream that he was building all these doors and they didn't fit in the house that he lived in and then he moves into a new house without doors and all these doors that he's been building now suddenly fit. And now he's inspired to build a door. That's so cool. Thanks to everybody that shared their story of what your dream build is. What's my dream build? I didn't know what my dream build was until I asked that question. And that's the purpose of the question is to get us all thinking and get those creative juices flowing. So what I want to build is three guitars. Building a solid body guitar with my own design. That would be the easiest of the guitars to build. And I hope to do that this summer. I want to start off with a solid body guitar. Next, I want to move up and build a semi-hollow body guitar. It's a little bit harder, but it's not made out of a solid piece of wood. That would be my next step. And then after I do that, the hardest of the guitars, I think, would be to build an acoustic guitar. I think that's my dream build, is to make three guitars. Another thing I would like to build is my own urn, which would kind of complete my life, I think. Thank you for everybody's answers. That was beautiful. I loved hearing your stories. This week's question is, what got you started in woodworking? I would love to hear how you got into woodworking. Post your answers down below in the comment section on my YouTube page. And we'll talk about that next week. I'll share some of your stories and I'll share you my story. So thank you very much. Emails that I got. John Turner sent me this photo of his arm swollen up after being bit by a spider in his shop. This involved multiple trips to the doctor. So, moral of the story, be careful in your shop. There are spiders, they bite, they're assholes. Roger King sent me this photo of a box that he made out of African mahogany, and this is inspired by my curved inlay video. Very beautiful box, Roger. If you're not familiar with my curved inlay video, I have a link down below. Here it is. Uh, so check that out. Chris Lee Long posted on my Facebook page these wine holders that he made from my patterns. If you don't know, I sell the patterns to these wine holders on my website. There's a link down below. He made some matching corkscrews and some bottle stoppers. Beautiful work by Chris Lee Long. Once again, I got t-shirts for sale on my website. Link down below. In the comments on my YouTube page, post what got you started in woodworking. I'd love to hear your story. That about wraps it up for this week. Stay passionate and make something. To keep up with me, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and Etsy. And be sure to check out my website at drunkenwoodworker.com.